Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. My name is Gary and I'm with Walker Farm Fam. If you've been around our farm very long, meaning you've followed us for very long, you know that we don't have any dogs that can have puppies. We have two male dogs, a, a um, border collie slash lab named Jojo and Hank, who was a new puppy we got in the beginning of the year. He's part border collie as well. Well, Oh, the kids just pulled in the house. So we got the opportunity to get some puppies from my uncle to help um, find them some new homes. And these are livestock guardian dogs. And I wanted to get the kids' reaction when they seen them. So let's float around and see what Ransom, come here. What are you excited about? What do you guys think about them, Ransom? Can I get in? Huh? Can I get in? Yeah, you guys can get in. Ransom. Ransom, look at Daddy. What do you think about the puppies? Good. I want to get in. All right, let's get in and look at them. Hi, baby. Get in there. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, these are so fluffy. They're so fluffy? Oh, they look like huskies, kind of. Hey, hey. What? This one likes me. Oh, these ones are friendly. Those two are kind of scared. What are you guys doing in there? Hi. Do you love me? That's the biggest one, Ranger. Can you hold them up for us? Oh. So cute. So Ranger found the smallest one. It's a little girl. Do you like that one, Ranger? Yeah. I also like the big, well, the biggest one, but and the white one. Okay, that one's the runt. It's the smallest one, but it's still pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cute though, too. These puppies were born January fifth, and that's how big they are right now. So I they're keep one. big dogs. Well, they need to go to a farm that has goats and sheep or something like that, to, so they can guard them. Or sell Hank, maybe. Oh, you want to sell Hank now? Yeah. Man, you're just going to give up on Hank quick, aren't you? Oh, Hank's cute, but like I really want one. Uh-huh, that's what puppies will do to you. All right, let's go see what the other kids think about him. Ransom, which one do you have, bud? This one. Huh? It's so adorable. Find you. Right Mazzy, here. which one's your favorite? This one. He's That one? Hey, look, he's behind you. Here, he. Buddy. This is the biggest. Yep, he, that's the biggest boy. He was shy at first for me. No, he's not shy. <laughs> hey, you guys think we need to give him some temporary names? Yeah. So when they this go, this one, this one, Brownie. That one, Brownie. Yeah. When they this go to one, their home, they're gonna have to one, get names by their by their owners. Okay. This one's Charlotte. Charlotte. Yep. Hey, Charlotte. And this is that one, Blondie. Blondie. And also, this is Brownie, Charlotte. And, and what about that, that one? one? Um, this one is maybe chocolate. Chocolate? No, cupcake. Cupcake? Yeah, I like to give. Them. <laughs> I like to give them a. Uh, I think it's a boy, Mazzy. You still think cupcake's a good name for a boy? About, hmm. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Joe. Joe. Jojo Siwa. Jo well, we already have a Jojo. <laughs> um, John. He's sleepy. Or maybe. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Oh, you guys. Oh, you like me, guys. What about Case? These two. Case, that sounds good. Oh. Ransom, which one's your favorite? These two. Those two. Me the most is this one. This. That one? Hey guys, yeah. I think the one that really he likes really me the most like is this me. one. That one likes you the most? No, he likes me the most. No, he, he, he really like me. Ransom, sit down and turn around so I can see you, buddy. Buddy, hey, can you sit down by the dog and, I'll, and pet on it? Oh, oh. Puppies. You guys, your job for the next uh, few days is to play with these puppies. Okay. That way they get used to humans and they'll be easy to, whenever somebody comes and gets them, they'll be ready to go with them. You think so? Yeah. Maggie, oh, he just licked me. 
It's very soft, isn't it, Mazzy? Like a big teddy bear? Oh. Who could say no to that face? Hey, puppy! Uh, I could. That's about oh, it. Oh, little puppy. Go behind you. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> we didn't name that one. What about? I thought you named it Cookie or Cupcake. That's me name it Cookie. It's Cookie, right, son? His name's Cookie. So, yes, these puppies are cute. Who can, who can say no to that face? And that one might be my favorite one. But yeah. just remember, Mazzy, puppies get big. And these puppies are going to get really, really, really big. That one's my favorite. So it's going to be fun uh, keeping these puppies here for a few days, finding them new homes, and letting the kids kind of play with them and get them gentled down uh, as they're prepared to go to their new homes. So we're going to have some fun with them. And we'll catch back up with Cassie and tell you exactly what breeds they are. Um, but they are livestock guardian dogs, and they're going to get big. All right, Ransom, what time is it? Food time! Time to eat? All right, let's see, on, if they, see if they like it. Coming towards it. Oh, yeah! Oh, meal time is always exciting. They all dive right into their food dish. <laughs> Come on, this one, this one. Hey, Daddy, there's one, two, three, four. There's four right Dad, now. share room for him. Share room. Food time is always the best time. And guys, whenever they're eating, this is the best time to leave them alone, okay? Why? Let's just watch them. Because this is, whenever they get bigger, they get protective. Because this is their, their own time just to eat and enjoy their food. They eat all the food, they get nice and big. Well, the dogs are eating and they're over there enjoying their food. I can hear them chomping right now. But Cassie also helped give them some shots earlier. Yeah, so we made sure they had their pu uh, puppy shots and we're getting ready to worm them, getting ready uh, for their new home. So they are livestock guardian dogs. The mom is an Anatolian Shepherd and then the dad has Anatolian and Pyrenees and some other things. Um, but they are, their parents are awesome livestock dog dogs. They um, run with your uncle's cows and horses and uh, free range chickens. Yeah, so we actually, uh, my uncle has um, nurse calves. He has a, a milk cow that nurses um, kind of bottle calves uh, every now and then. And so last time, I think it was last winter, we had one of our cows had twins. So we took one of our calves over there for the nurse cow to raise. And the mama of these dogs is a really good protective um, of those calves. So she uh, kind of stays with them and stands by them all the time whenever they're real <laughs> little babies. Play fighting. <laughs> yeah, the pu puppies are fighting. They're really distracting. But she was a really good mom. So these dogs will make somebody a really good guardian dog for their livestock. Yeah, and these puppies have been with chickens. And so they're doing good with them. So we're hoping to find them some good homes. And maybe one will stay at our home. Mm -hmm. I think we have the maximum amount of dogs right now. <laughs> so I think this is Cassie's goal. This is actually her idea. I'd have 20 dogs if Gary let me. This was her idea to take these dogs and um, help find them new homes. Uh, just because she enjoys puppies. And our kids will get to play with them some. And hopefully kind of um, get them ready to go to their new home as far as socialization. But if you are local and in the market for a livestock guardian dog, let us know. And maybe one of these can come to your house. So let's go over here real quick and take a look at them, see if they'll keep playing or not. So you guys saw in our uh, last video, I believe it was, that we got our first AM Samani egg. So that was really exciting and I can't wait to be getting more so we can start hatching some out. We also found out that the Bard Rock, Bard Rock and the Leghorn that I hatched out from Sawyer Ridge, um, they gave me a dozen eggs and I hatched out 
um, nine chicks, um, they are roosters. So we don't know, do not need more roosters on the farm. So we got homes for them as well. Uh, the Bard Rock is going to uh, Mazzy's teacher at school, and the Leghorn. You guys will just have to keep hanging around to see who is going to get the Leghorn plus two hens that are in here. So you guys are going. You guys keep telling us that, that we need to give this person chickens. So maybe you already know, but you'll find out real soon where these chickens are going. Also, a little update on the chicken coop out here. Some people were concerned that when we tarped uh, the top of this chicken run, it was going to cave in, but luckily, it did not. So, it's still in good shape. It's still a nice little temporary, um, which uh, if you go way back in our videos, we built this in 24 hours. We thought we'd use it for a couple weeks, and we've actually used it for almost a year, almost a year at this point. So but Almost a year with different chickens. We've rotated chickens in and out. We keep our younger chicks in here. Yeah, so it's, it's just kind of found its own purpose as a middle uh, of the road between, pen. between the brooder and getting them out to their permanent pen. So it's worked out well. Yeah, so if you guys follow us often, you know that we're in the process of um, converting a horse trailer into a new coop, and that's where these A and Samanis will go. So we had some bad weather, it's all muddy, but we're gonna get to it, and before you know it, these hens and their uh, rooster will be in that horse trailer conversion yeah brand new chicken coop conversion and these puppies just keep fighting so that's what i'm sitting here looking at they of course are puppies so they'll do this for 20 minutes and then they'll sleep for an hour that was my favorite that one that's getting after it. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It's calm. You're calm. You just stay over here and hang out, don't you? And we know that these puppies don't need too much socialization, um, but they do need to be able to interact with humans a little bit. And so that's part of the reason getting the kids in there and playing with them too. But they're not getting overly socialized. I think they'll probably get an hour a day or so, but they'll be ready for their new farm and their new animal soon. And hopefully people can get them as puppies. That way they get used to their animals. Yeah. So now we have another surprise for you on the All farm today. All kinds of surprises in this yes. video. Yes. So this surprise has been about three years in the making. <laughs> We've been waiting on this for a long time. So let's go show you a little clue right now of what the surprise is. If you guessed from that utility truck that was at our house today, we have fiber optic to our home. The kids are like, woo, when they got in the car, they're like, do we have it, do we have it? We can't wait get to get home to see if we have it. So we have been waiting uh, quite a while. It's been about six months since they started the fiber project in our um, uh, neighborhood, if that's what you would call this, <laughs> and uh, on this side of the town. Um, but we are excited because this uh, will really help us a lot for YouTube. So Cassie, how long does it take for you to upload a video prior to today? Prior to today on YouTube, on a good day, it took about 45 minutes to upload it when I edit on the iPad. Um, if I edit on the Mac and upload it, it's several hours. But on the iPad, it would take on a good day 40, 45 minutes. To Facebook, um, I used to be able to upload on the iPad, but something's messed up with that. So I have to upload it from the Mac to Facebook. That takes anywhere from three to four hours. So it takes a long time. and. Um, I have some current upload speeds of what we have and download speeds. I'll show you that right now. And this is what our current speed looks like. So that just gives you an idea of where we were coming from and where we're going. Susie sure loves the camera, Su or you, or something. Susie always is walking up. I, I, <laughs> I thought she was going to give me the face. Baby. She likes, she don't like me. Oh, she just likes to waller on you or something. I could feel her nudging behind me, but I wasn't going to turn around. <laughs> I thought it was either Susie or Cassie, <laughs> but it was Susie. No rub all over your face. <laughs> Weird cat. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a cat. I'm oh. a live person. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that video this week of the lawyer and the judge, but the the judge the lawyer had 
a filter on that made him on look Zoom. like on Zoom <laughs> on that, a... that made him look like a cat, <laughs> and <laughs> and we couldn't quit laughing because it was just hilarious. If you haven't know, if you know what we're talking about, leave a comment below. If you don't, just we're probably crazy. But Google lawyer that thinks he's a cat or <laughs> I'm not a cat, I'm a live person. <laughs> But anyway, this fiber optic is really going to um, help a lot. We don't have the times yet, but when we upload this video, we'll know exactly how long it takes. Maybe we'll leave that in the comments um, and pin it to the top, how long it took us to upload Some people are going to be like, there's people starving and you're worried about your internet. And it's not, <laughs> okay, so it's not the end of the world that we, you know, but it does. We're just excited that we have the opportunity. Yeah, it just makes a big difference in our life as far as the time it takes because, you know, it ties up whatever device we're using to upload that while it's uploaded. Yeah, and we have to strategically think, okay, I need to start uploading this video. We need it to be out by five o'clock today, but that might not happen. So what time am I gonna have to start doing it? So it's a minimal thing, but it's a game changer for us as YouTubers um, and uploading every other day and basically making this a full-time job of it. And quick internet just changes it all. Yeah, so bye-bye to the hotspot. Hello to fiber <laughs> optic um, to our home. And we're excited about that. And we do have one last surprise that we got to head inside for. And the kids will actually get to open a package. So let's go do that and see what we got. Okay, well, we made it in the house and we gathered up the kids because we have a special package. What is I don't, it? I, I don't know. You don't know? Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Whoa. Ooh, some new shirts. Reckless Saints shirts. Reckless Saints. I got an extra small for a ransom. It says, just a little reckless. I got a medium that says, live free, die sober. Imagine you want that. And I got another medium that says, hope dealers. Ranger. Imagine you want this one? You want to trade? You can trade. You can trade. You just figure out which one you want. All like. right. Oh, and there's a card. Oh, and there's stickers. Look at this. Let me see the sticker. Let me have... What shows the tattoo? Mazzy wants tattoos. <laughs> okay. Well, Jordan's got enough for everybody. Yeah, Jordan's got all the tats. Not even a sticker. All right, let's see. This is this a sticker? Yeah, you pull it back here. Can I put it, it on my shirt? Like Do we still... No. We'll put it on your mirror. We don't. Um, the kids are going to put their stickers on stuff, but it says, Walker family, thank you for supporting our ministry. You guys are the real deal. Hands and feet of Jesus. Grateful for your family. Ranger Mazzy Ransom, we hope you love these shirts. Stay reckless. So, uh, the Reckless Saints of Nowhere are some good friends of ours. Um, I went to school with uh, Jordan Parker, the C CEO and founder. He is a former addict. Who... I, I also went to school with Jordan Parker. Oh, you Parker. did too. Um, he actually went to the school I went to, and then he went to the school that Cassie went to. He went to my school first. He went to my school last, and yeah, I, I think that's where he graduated. Yeah. Why does it matter? <laughs> You're like, no, you have my first group. No, you have my first group. No. So, uh, the, what the Reckless Saints of Nowhere does is they get addicts into treatment at no cost to them or their family. So, Jordan um, is a former addict who uh, seeked out help and has uh, an amazing wife and two beautiful boys now and is doing amazing things and he um they sell where's your shirts at so um a couple of years ago he decided how can i help people so he decided to sell t-shirts to um, help raise money he has shirts and hats and hoodies and all sorts of stuff now. He designs them all, so Jordan yeah. has some um, amazing design he has capabilities. Some great artistic abilities. And now they've went full circle, and all of the T-shirts they sell fund getting um, people into treatment. So it really is an awesome, awesome thing they've done. Oh, Ransom put his on. That looks good, man. He's a model. You gonna wear that to school tomorrow? They watch this. Yeah. All right. I can put this on. Um, so we will leave all of the information down below for the Reckless Saints. If you know someone who is lost and struggling in addiction, reach out. Um, they are willing to help anybody and everybody, no matter where they are in the United States. I mean, if they could go outside of the United States, I'm sure they would. But if, they, if someone is willing and ready for treatment, they will get them um, a place where they need to go. Ooh, I like it, sissy. So down below is all the information. Last year, we did a Reckless Beef. You want to tell them about that? Yeah, so we were able to um, 
donate half of a beef <laughs> to the Reckless Saints, who in turn took that beef and raffled it <coughs> off to somebody. So, so we're going to do that again this fall. When we butcher another beef, we're going to do half a beef to the Reckless Saints of Nowhere again. Um, and that is going to be raffled off. So it's going to be a while. It'll be this fall, but stay tuned uh, because you guys won't want to miss that, especially if you're local. You want to have a chance to get some tickets to be entered to win half a beef from Walker Farm. Yeah, last time we gave this away, I think we had under a thousand subs and lots of you bought tickets. So I can't wait to see how amazing it does this time. Um, but you guys got to see lots of surprises today. Puppies, fiber optic, and awesome t-shirts for the kids. So thank you guys, Vanessa and Jordan. You guys are awesome. We truly appreciate your support to our channel as well. And in return, we are able to help support y'all. We hope you guys have a great, great day and God bless.